spend today and tomorrow talking about rectangles, rhombuses, and squares, which are all different kinds of parallelograms that we're talking about. Okay. Then on Thursday and Friday, we'll talk about trapezoids and kites. We'll come back next week, we'll review, and we'll take a test on this chapter. Okay. But rectangles are parallelograms. Therefore, all of our properties of parallelograms are included in this. Okay, so you have those properties, plus we're going to add two properties. All four angles are going to be what? What kind of angles do I have to have to have a rectangle? Right angles, yeah. All four angles are going to be right angles. Okay. And not only are diagonals going to bisect each other, but now we can say that diagonals are Okay, so a rectangle is a parallelogram, so you've got all your properties of parallelograms. Plus Four right angles, diagonals are congruent. So, numero uno. I mean, number one for you non Spanish speakers. QR has to be what, Paige? Has to be 10, yep, because what? What property? Opposite sides are congruent, good. SR has to be what, Olivia? 24 Y. Because opposite sides are congruent. Yep. What have we got here? Ooh, this is interesting. Alright, so 24, what's this angle right here? What's this angle? 90 degree angle, right? So if I draw this triangle, what kind of a triangle do I have? All right, triangle. So how could I find my diagonal? Anybody know what that guy's called? Huh? It's the hypotenuse, yep. So if I have a right triangle and I'm looking for the hypotenuse, anybody remember how to do that? Anybody know the formula? There you go. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, so my A is 10. So 10 squared plus, what's my B? 24 squared equals C squared. What's 10 squared? 100 plus, you gotta help me out with 24 squared. 576 equals 676. So C squared equals 676. So how do I find out what C is? Square root. So somebody take the square root of 676. Huh? 26. So S Q so P R is 26. So what's that make? S Q. Huh? 26. Because diagonals are congruent. So then what's Q T have to be? <coughs> yep, how do we know that? Alright, so Oh yeah, number two, AC has to be what, Marissa? Has to be 30 because good, diagonals bisect each other. BD then is going to be what, Keely? 30 what? 
diagonals are. Because we found AC, right? And then we needed BD. So my diagonals are congruent. Yep. All right, so then BE has to be what now? Has to be 15. How come? <coughs> Good. Diagonals bisect each other. All right, that means AB is going to be what, Kara? 27. How come? Sides are congruent. All right, so now we need BC, right? So I have 27. I don't know what BC is. What's this say? What was my diagonal? 30, right? How now am I looking for my hypotenuse or my leg? Now I'm looking for a leg. So now I have x squared plus 27 squared equals 30 squared. So x squared plus, that help me out. How many? 729 equals 900. So x squared equals 171. Yeah? Okay. I don't know. 900 minus 729? Okay, and then we got six square root and get. Fifteen point zero seven. Okay, remember two decimal places. All right. All right. So okay. All right. So now we need M J K. M J K. The whole angle right there is going to be what, Jackson? 90, yep. So we're going to have 90 degree angle. So MJL is going to be that little guy right there. Has to be who, princess? Right here, M to J to L. So let's come right here. Sixty-three. You got that because you took ninety minus twenty-seven. Yep, because those have to add up to ninety. So J L K. All right. So remember, this guy is sixty-three. J L K is this angle, right? And that angle, if you remember, is going to be what, Andrew? Uh huh. This one. 63, because those two angles, this angle and this angle are called what? Remember? Anybody? Starts with an A. Alternate interior angles, good. Alright, KML, Skyler. Oh, who? Okay. Okay. Well, kind of. This one would be opposite LJK, right? So this would be 27, and this makes a what kind of a triangle? I thought this triangle, because remember your diagonals bisect each other and they're congruent. So I'm just well, I thought this triangle to your right with 27. Good deduction, because those guys are my, what are those angles called? Of an isosceles triangle. Base angles. 
How many remember that? Okay. So then M N L has to be what, Hanno? Let's get it right here. Let's get it right here. Okay, so I have a triangle right here, right? How many angles of my triangle do I have? <laughs> well, right, but I know how many. <laughs> how many angles do I know? I know two angles, so I can find my third by doing what? How do I find my third angle or triangle? How many degrees does this triangle add up to? 180. Take your 180. You've <laughs> got two. So 126 has to be that guy, yep. Isosceles triangle, right? So, almost gone. Alyssa, how many degrees do I have left over for that triangle? Thinking, oh, smokes, there's a lot of stuff going on, right? Okay, so make sure that you're looking at the 